In this video, I'm going to introduce you to this new model called as 0123++. 0123++ is an image conditioned diffusion model for generating 3D consistent multi-view images from a single input view. It does that by utilizing pre-trained 2D generative priors with minimal fine tuning required. This model also ensures high quality output while addressing challenges like texture degradation and geometric misalignment. If you look at their GitHub repo, they have quite a lot of going on on this repo. On the main screen, they have this single image and then they have created this multi-view 2D images out of that. And then they also provide some coding stuff where you can try it out by yourself and I'll quickly show you a demo shortly on Google Colab too. And if you want to run it locally, you can do so too, but there are a lot of prerequisites of it. Plus you would have to have at least five gig of VRAM. I would suggest at least have 16 gig of GPU RAM so that you'd be able to run it properly. And then you can even run the depth control net if you have a beefy system. And there are two models available with it. One is 0, 1, 2, 3 plus, and then the other one is control net ZP11. Okay, uh, and one last thing before I show you the demo is that if you want to install it, then install all of these requirements plus few more stuff, and then you can either run Gradio demo and or you can run it with Streamlit. But it will be a bit of a work to get it working first time. But give it a try and hopefully it, this will work on your system. Okay, now let me take you to my Google Colab. This is my Google Colab environment. Now first click on runtime and click on change runtime type, select T4 GPU, which is free from Google. And now let's install some of the prerequisites, which are diffuser transformer. Let's run it and wait for it to finish. It shouldn't take too long because fairly, normally it's fairly quick. Let's wait for it to run. You can see that it is not downloading. Diffuser first, which is around 989 KB. That's done. Transformer is happening. Let's wait for it to finish. So both of them are done. Now in the second cell, let's paste this. So what we are doing here is we are importing these libraries from torch, request, and image. And then we are loading the pipeline with this 0123 plus model, which I just showed you on their GitHub repo and putting it in this pipeline. Once that's done, we are scheduling it. We are also passing it this uh, image, which I got from their GitHub repo and then run the pipeline. And then we are saving the output image. So let's run it. We just started importing it and let's let it run for a while. And once it generates it, we will use the matplotlib to show this image, the output image I mean. Now, as you can see, it is in the pipeline. It takes a bit of a time. It will also, it's also going to download the model as you can see here, which is around 1.73 gig of size, not that big, which is cool. And I'm noticing that as the time is passing, the model sizes are in, uh, reducing, which is great. For not only um, the entrance speed, but now everyone can run it easily, just like I'm running it for free on Google Colab. And it is now loading the pipeline components, consolidating them. There are eight of them. The ETA is around 24 seconds. So let's wait for it to finish. Pipeline loading is almost done. Let's wait for it to come back. And if you want to accelerate it, as it is saying that just do pip install accelerate and it should improve the performance a tad bit more. Still, it is good enough under one minute, which is nice. And now it is loading all the components. Shouldn't be too far away. That is done. And now let's 
show or print this through plotlib the output png and if you click on this folder icon you will see that we already have this plot output.png so let me run it and see what it prints there you go so it has printed these images from that original image and if you want to run it at your own then i will uh, you can go to their github repo and i'll drop the link in video description where you can read more if you want to delve deeper into how this is actually working and all the behind the scene uh, great work for these uh, researchers which are mentioned here then you can read this abstract and if you click on the right hand side you can read this whole paper which is full of a lot of nuggets how they are doing it and um, how they have trained it with different levels of scale reference attention on shape net cars data set and also they discuss the output coherence with input images and how much scaling is done they also discuss this flex diffuse which is um, quite interesting because in the original stable diffusion global conditioning comes solely from text Im embeddings but they have proposed a trainable variant of linear guidance mechanism introduced in flex diffuse to incorporate global image conditioning into model so it really reduces the amount of fine tuning you have to do fairly uh, cool uh, paper to read very interesting and one thing i love about it is that they have given a lot of pictorial examples as you can see here it is a qualitative comparison of 0 1 2 3 plus plus against various methods on single image to multi-view task from like input images this so this is 0 1 2 3 xl this is sync trimmer and this is 0 1 2 3 plus their own so you can see the difference between all of these models immediately uh, on the fly and then they also give the future timeline as how they intend to proceed for example they are going to uh, do the two-stage refiner model and then um, one of the things I think they are going to focus up is further scaling up of it because currently as you can see here 0 1 2 3 plus plus is trained on the medium scale observer data set and they are looking to scale it up on data set like observer excel so pretty cool so this is it guys a fairly exciting paper I would say I really love the work they have done here for example look at this example anyway I think I could look at it the whole day so I will finish it up here if you have any questions or thoughts please feel free to put them in the comments and of course if you have any if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps a lot thank you very much